It's only a few days until Easter. Yes, so it's time to make some traditional Easter recipes. Yes, a seminal cake and a German Hefezopf. Yes, so a seminal cake is so popular here in the UK. We've never made it before. It's a kind of fruit cake with a, well, with a marzipan topping. Yes, and the Hefezopf is a kind of sweet bread. Yes, in English it's called plated loaf, but we don't want to talk too much. It's still morning and guess what? Yeah, be hungry. Yeah. The first thing we're going to do is make a marzipan topping. Yes. Now, you can buy marzipan, but we thought we're going to try it. Yes, we've, we've never made that before, so that will be quite interesting. Now, for the marzipan, you will need eggs, almond essence, ground almonds and caster sugar. Let's hope this works, because usually we always buy marzipan. I'm quite excited for this. About a teaspoon of almond essence. That should be it. You want more? A little bit more? Okay. Good. Okay. The marzipan looks like this and it needs to cool so we put it into the fridge while we make the cake itself which is going to be gluten free and as always we will put the recipes we're making today down below in the info box for you. Now for the cake you will need gluten free plain white flour and because we're making it gluten free some xanthan gum, eggs, apricot jam, mixed peel, some lemon zest, mixed spice, brown sugar, raisins, butter and some salt. Okay, I'm going to beat the butter and brown sugar. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of mixed spice and a bit of flour, just bit by bit, and then I'm going to beat that. Now, part of a marzipan will be in the cake. Yes. Uh, around about a third of it. And mm -hmm. that's why I've taken a third and I'm rolling it out now. Mm -hmm. So now I'm... <sighs> the dough into a tin. Half of it. Or... Yeah, half of it. Mm -hmm. Now, while the oven is preheating, we want to give this a try. The batter, you can have the big spoon. Mm. <laughs> mm. You think there are too many raisins in there? No. I think I would prefer the batter plain. No. No? No. Well, Ex that's excellent. <laughs> this cake has to bake in the oven for one hour, 45 minutes. So a very long time, but at a low temperature, just 140 degrees. But yeah, so far, so good. That was quite easy. It just, as you can see, takes a lot of time in the oven, but it should be fine. Kirsten, you've got a new dress. I do. How do you like it, yeah? It's nice, it's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I would share. So, this is my latest dress. I'm, I'm wearing it very casually with Converse, so chucks. I do that all the time in spring and summer. And it's a Laura Ashley dress. It's, um, I don't know, I think 
some sort of collaboration, but I forgot the other name of the brand. So just thought I would share. It's very, um, it's comfortable, really lovely. And it goes with the green of our kitchen. Now, we've been colouring Easter eggs on this channel for, I think, for three or four years. Yeah. This time, it's going to be a little bit different. Yes, we are using colours which we got from Germany. Brilliant, I. Yeah. <laughs> Schillander Glanz, made in Germany even. Yeah. Okay. So, the thing is, we always feel, we've been living here for eight years, but we feel that colouring eggs is not as huge as it is in Germany. No, it's not that kind of tradition. No. It seems to me. Yes, well, we we feel that chocolate eggs are bigger. Yeah. Far bigger. And they also, do you all, I mean, that definitely is the case. You can get white eggs in Germany pretty easily. It's quite difficult yeah, here. Yeah, because here most of the eggs are brown. Yes. And I think this works for white and brown yes. eggs. So, yeah, we've, we're going to give that a try because we haven't done that in eight years. So, yes. let's do it. We have yellow, red, green, blue and purple. And I said, OK, what's this? But you said that's for sh the shimmer. Yes, it's like a gloss. For the... Brilliant eye. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now the instruction says that the egg needs to be hot and warm. <laughs> not yes. Hot. This one is hot. Yeah. And then you just drop the color onto the egg and then, yeah, color it like that. I'm still not convinced that it will work with the, with the brown egg because so far, Nothing. Might need a bit more colour. Definitely, uh, yeah. Actually, yellow never works in brown eggs. It's just, it's not working. That's the result. I like it. Very strong colours. Yes. And the texture is nice. Yes. I like that one here. So, well, we show you later. Very different to the ones we made two years ago, which were quite pastely, but I love this as well. I don't know if it is for, for sealing the colour. Not sure. Okay. Ah! <gasps> this looks like jewellery now. Ah, <gasps> okay. so different to all the other eggs we, yeah. we've made so far. Wow, this is my favorite one. Now it's time to make the German Hefezopf plated loaf. And they are very popular around the Easter holidays because usually people make them at home. But I don't know, as Germans love a Hefezopf throughout the year, so you can find them in a wonderful German bakery throughout the year because we love them. I think it's quite easy to make, so let's start. You need flour, and we're using regular flour because we need yeast for it, and that just works best. Milk, butter, eggs, sugar, and a little bit of salt. I just put all the ingredients into a bowl and then Need it. Now, this is a wet cloth and I'm going to cover the yeast dough with it and let it rest. Now, let's check out the cake. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, good. Uh -huh. Really nice. I think the marzipan topping We'll, I was going to say, finish it off. We'll do the trick. Yeah, it yeah? will do. Okay, this is the rest of the marzipan and we will form balls with them. Yes, 11. 11 balls. 
because they symbolize the 11 apostles. Yes. I think we might really like this cake because, I don't know, Germans do love their marzipan, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and it so really tastes good. It tastes so good and it was so easy to make, so yeah. we can make that more often now. What's next? What do you think? Looks good. It does. Looks gorgeous. <laughs> it's our very first attempt, so we can't complain. No. Well, we have to wait for the taste test. Okay, putting this aside for a bit and then we can continue with the Hilford song. For Hefegrenze, and these go into the oven for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. <sighs> I think we need a cup of tea. I can't wait for, for a little break, to be honest. And they smell delicious, so Jörg will have something very lovely to eat. So this is our little Easter table and we think the Sumnal cake turned out so well. Now we will try it in a second. Here are our gorgeous Easter eggs and these are the Hefezöpfe. So they actually the shape of the Hefezop symbolizes the close link between Christ and mankind. And we think it looks quite nice with a colored egg in the middle. And by the way, we have some Cadbury cream eggs and he absolutely loves them. And you know what, although I do love chocolate, I absolutely hate them. I don't like the taste whatsoever, but each to their own. Let's see what this cake looks like. Inside is a very heavy and dense cake. Looks like this. Fancy a slice, Jörg? I'll do. Okay, I need to show you some new additions because I think they are so adorable that I have to share, especially this couple because it's so fitting for Easter as well. Now, many of you know that I'm obsessed with Herdwick sheep, so the sheep that you find in the Lake District, they are so beautiful. And this is actually a salt and pepper shaker. So a you and a mutton. How cute are they? I'm literally obsessed. I mean, they also just they look nice in a shelf or on a shelf, don't they? Last year we went to Cornishware, which is a beautiful pottery brand based in Somerset and we got a tour. It was so gorgeous. It was like a dream come true because I've admired the brand for a very long time. And of course we filmed it for YouTube. So if you are into English China and pottery, do check out the video, I will link it for you again. And 
they just had a second sale last week and we got hold of this beautiful and very big teapot. It was only £35. It's usually a lot more expensive and, and you know what? So we also went to Cornwall last year and stayed at the beautiful 400 year old cottage and they had the very same tea set very same teapot and we fell in love so another addition and last but not least we are big fans of Burley have been for decades actually and the factory shop is only about 45 minutes from here so we always buy seconds there this is the black regal peacock pattern that we absolutely love and we bought these two mugs. So we usually have these big breakfast cups which are so stunning and very big. I do drink tea all day long when I'm working and yeah, I love these okay, two. Now, this is Germany. Bunnies. And this is UK, huh? Mm -hmm. A huge chocolate egg. Huh? Yes. Uh, Although you the, said the bunnies are, you find them more and more yes, here. Yes, they're finding, now the bunnies are finding their way to the UK. <laughs> uh, yes, they do. We don't have these kind of big eggs. And, and, and this is a small one. Yeah, I was way. going to say. Uh, uh, these kind of eggs in Germany, we don't have it. No. Nobody knows about them. Well, maybe, maybe the bunnies find their way into the UK and maybe the Easter eggs into Germany. I don't think, no. No? Not a German thing. Well, things well, change. Well, the marzipan is really good. You know what we said? We won't be buying marzipan again. We just make it ourselves and we could we can just cover it in chocolate. Yeah. It's so easy. So and the cake. Tastes a bit like Christmas. Does it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's really strange, isn't it? For us in, in Germany, you wouldn't find a cake like that on Easter. That's interesting. What do you think? Good. I like it. Okay. The mixture with marzipan is That's amazing. good. Well, that's my favorite bit, the marzipan. <laughs> How's the plated loaf? Now, the top is actually very good. Mm -hmm. And you can see the difference. Yes. Oh, taste, because that's really fruity, heavy. Yes. This one is light. Light as a feather. <laughs> yes, it's really good. Not as sweet. Yeah, and what I would do is, uh, because that's, you could do it like with a croissant. Right? Yeah. And then some butter. And yes. Then, oh. <laughs> you can have it for breakfast. Yeah. It's really good. Oh. Very easy to make. Put, even could put some chocolate on it. Chocolate? Yes. Do you mean? Dip it in chocolate. Well, oh, yeah. Chocolate sock. <laughs> well, <laughs> you could do butter and a little bit of jam. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. I need to show you what I fancy now. Strangely enough, I fancy something savory now. This is a very German thing to do on Easter. Now, take a boiled egg. <laughs> Peel it and then what you have to do, put some muggy on top and then eat it. I made a stain into the tablecloth with the muggy. Well, accidents happen, but this is in case you haven't tried that and you can buy that here in the UK. Uh, I think even at Tesco, Tesco or yeah, Sainsbury. Yeah. Now, what was your favorite bit? Am I allowed to say? Yeah. The boiled egg? Yeah, but muggy. Yours as well? I love it. No. No, I love a fruit cake. <laughs> but I also love an egg with muggy. Yeah, yeah, and what about the hefe? Hefe tie, a hefe top? Yes, it's good. So, well, Jörg says <laughs> everything was good. Yes. My favourite bit was the savoury egg. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But we hope you found some inspiration. Yes. And for those of you who celebrate Easter, 
we wish you a happy Easter. Yes, a happy Easter. And of course, we'll see you again very soon. So until next time, and take care. Bye. 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 Bye.